welcome back to my channel my name is boss babu sambana in this video you have clear idea about 19 research papers in the series of research papers the we know that totally 19 types of research papers and right now in this video we have clearly idea about what is the applied research this is the second type of research paper so this is the second type of research what is the applied research before going to the research you must know the what is the research research is a creative and systematic work undertaken to increase the stock of knowledge that means it involves the uh, that means the creative analysis knowledge expand expanding to existing work like um, to identify unknown thing to known thing known thing to unknown thing based on different different uh, scientific goals and research methodologies research capabilities and research techniques and research uh, factors what it may which type of you are methoding which type of methods are using to find out the solution that means to acquire the knowledge from particular solution for particular solution for the required registering resources okay in the way what is the importance of research it plays the crucial role in discovering a new treatment discovering a new treatment and making a sure that we use existing solution in the best possible ways that means to identify the unknown factors unknown finding factors to known factors okay that means known factor to unknown factors based on these research methodologies are research fields are research techniques are clearly um, clearly and <clears throat> fill the gaps between knowledge and various fields okay and what are the what skills are needed for research like uh, you know that previously series of research we are continuously discussing about searching for information frequently attention to detail and taking notes and maintaining backup stories and time management and problem solving and decision making skills and competing communication skills we know that according to the various research factors the research is are, are divided into three main factors application mode and objective mode and type of information sought in the way of in the way of types of research we are categorized into various factor also in the way mainly these are divided into 19 types we know that what are the types of research the gen the main thing is the generally the types of research are the different methodologies used to conduct qualitative and quantitative research based on the our research goals and timeline factors either publication timeline factor or conference timeline factor or general timeline general publication time factor and the particular purpose of research to identify the solution and two different types of research and better suited for the satirical studies based on literature survey in the way the different types of research studies and literature surveys and short notes and whatever it may be the research work will be utilized research work generally usually is to industrial factor industrial industries and automation way and social impact way and education field and scientific field and research field and academic fields either uh, government and non government way and ngo way and biology and academic and non academic and engineering and whatever it may be which field are you, which fields are you are planning to apply then it is converted into various factors then at right now we are mainly focusing in this video applied research what is applied research applied means the applied research aim at finding a solution for an immediate problem facing a society or in a industrial or business organization or very 
as fundamental research that means where the fundamental research begins then the latter the latter that means fulfilling the gap between the societal need and basic thing that means the applied research aims at finding a solution for a immediate problem facing a society or organization or industrial and business approaching method okay then really this is a this diagram represents the various factors problem analysis and goals and theory factor and methodologies research results and finally analysis and results outcome in the way what is the applied research you know that applied research aims at finding a solution for an immediate problem facing a society or industrial and business organization where as fundamental research started here you know that a fundamental research is started and the fundamental research is mainly concerned with the generalization and with the formulation of the theoretical way theoretical way the applied research is considered to be a non semestric inquiries and it is usually launched by company agency or industrial and individual in order to address specific point of problem that means the research complete research generalizes to analyze based on industrial and internal problems of society through based on through based on systematic inquiry ways and it is added to uh, analyze either organization way and agency way or individual way or any other factor based on based on several researchers uh, uh, acknowledgement applied research can be divided into three categories following three categories first one evolution research first one evolution research second one research and development and third one action research action research also one type of research paper action research okay action research at right now what is the evolution research what is the research research development what is the action research what is the evolution research this type of research focusing on particularly analyzing existing information about phenomenon in order to generate objectives research outcomes a study into a way of reducing supply chain cost can be mentioned as example for evolutionary research that means it is a completely evolution of particular problem identification solution that means how to analyze the theoretical how to analyze your problem based on theoretical and past results and r and d research and development it is one type of applied research that it's mainly focusing on development of new innovative products and discovering products and service to satisfy the customer for their needs and wants to target a customer really reach the satisfaction ratio this type of applied research is that late, latest at least least relevant to a business discrimination that means survey analysis discrimination way and theoretical approaching way that like that and another thing action research action research this type of study aims to handle specific business problems the main thing is what is main purpose of applied research at right now in this way the purpose of applied research is increase what is known about a problem with the goal of creating a better solution that means increasing the increasing what is the internal problem identification with the effect of customer or researchers 
goal to create a better solution this is the this is in contrast to the basic research way in which that primary proposes to expand on what is known and knowledge and with a significant connection to the contemporary policies okay and the main thing is what is what are the characteristics of applied research it it is the very important factor the first thing is it is also known as professional research this is also known as one type of researchers are there professional research okay problems handled problems tend to be more practical way seeks to find out solution to immediate problems and for their issues and tends to be organizationally focused to generalized way and finding are usually kept private mode and results outcome results are outcome are usually used in intent internally to make decision making problems and establish strategic planning management in this in this diagram you have clear idea about the different factors of research applied research first one reality that means the you identified the problem then problem is it is complexity way then the complexity way categorized into um theoretical approaching method the theoretical approaching method to write out the to write out on hypothesis method as derived from the theory approaching analysis and laterally it converted into data the test of adequacy adequacy of each hypothetical manner then the the filtration of data finally Uh, those are which one it is useful which which we are not use classification techniques are applying generalized level finally the theoretical approaching when I, they submitted the data to theoretical way the theoretical way convert into real time applications that means application environment like recommendations youtube recommendations and facebook recommendations like that and how and amazon recommendations okay next how to support and enhance motivation and emotions in applied settings like that that means you initially if you you will discuss one example initially you are you will find out one tv or tv or any amazing like mobile tv or mobile the your filterization based on various factors cost brand and what it may be different factors then the customer satisfied their satisfied their after optionally evolution methods then finally outcome the finally outcome the existing of the results existing of the results finally they categorized into or classified into various factor then finally they recommend different factors of analysis then the user or analyst analyst to identify the problems it easy way next what is the benefits of application applied research the the benefit of applied research as follows the <clears throat> the research is unbiased since it test the evidence to good outcomes it is well planned and design all of which makes the research a much more valid approach that means the research is a unbiased mechanism when the qualitative results are evidence are come out come out come come analytical way and it is well planned that means pre processing technique and well designed of all which you are want to plan implement the particular thing then it is a valid approaching structural method 
Laterly, the application of applied research helps organizational or scientific or industrial or groups find the particular solution to specific problems efficiently and accuracy. This is the two factors for benefits and limitations of the applied research, either advantages or disadvantages matter. The main thing is the limitation of applied research as follows. There is a no flexibility in the nature of the project. It is bounded by deadlines. Why? Because it is a completely closed circuit environment. Why? Because these are the completely theoretical and survey based analytical mechanism. Second, it is being being limited in nature and it is therefore not considered be generalized since finding the solution is not generalized properly mechanism and applied research methods the what is the research methods quantitative and qualitative data collection methods are used in applied research to gather empirical evidence qualitative evidence but but its experimental way experimental way in order to arrive at a valid output comes in the way they are categorized into are following they are categorized into following the better it may be they are identified significant collectioning of methods of applied research first thing interview surveys or questionnaire and observation mechanism group focus focus group and data reporting techniques or maybe the complete methods the complete things are coming under applied research methods here the main thing is what is the examples of applied research generally the applied research is widely used in society way healthcare department and industrial way and scientific way and academic way and what it may which fields you are planning to apply then it is immediately focusing why because applied research aim to aim at finding a solution for immediate problem facing a society or an industrial or business organization approaching methods okay then what is the applied research it is usually remember like this the new knowledge acquired as a specific commercial objective like products and processors are servicing approaching methods and the answer is specific questions aimed at to at solving practical problems why because those are identified with a problem analysis comes five problem analysis based on their goals and theoretically approaching identification way and were ready to questionnaire and interview process and finally come be using research methodology and finally analyze the results then finally looking the output mechanism this is the process in this video you have clear idea uh, you 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 have clear idea about uh, you gained clear idea about what is that research, what type of self research, totally 19 types of research. And right now we are discussing applied research and the what is the applied research and we will explain, uh, we explain based on this diagram, this is the, and what is the research, applied research, how many types are there categorized, categorized these are categorized into three types, evolution research and research and development action research and what is the purpose of research and what is the characteristics of research and benefits and limitations and methods and similar to uh, similar way to identify original examples of research thank you very much please like and subscribe and share your friends finally thank you very much for your support